Hi, I'm Aaron Etheridge, lead developer for Worlds of Magic. Worlds of Magic is a 4X strategy game set in a fantasy universe. It's meant to be a spiritual successor to the microprose classic, Master of Magic. That was a game that defined a genre. It is the paramount example of a 4X fantasy game. It offered players randomly generated maps, multiple planes of existence, army and city management, artifact wielding heroes, and of course, a load of magic spells. What we're attempting to do with Worlds of Magic is capture the essence of what made Master of Magic a true classic, as well as modernize it and expand on its themes. We're basing our tactical combat system on the very solid foundation that is the D20 OGL rule set. It's an offshoot of what is perhaps the most prolific, successful, and popular rule set in gaming history. We're developing an in-depth but accessible magic system where spells are sorted into a number of circles, allowing the player to focus on a single element, such as fire, a single effect, such as destruction, or spread their points around learning spells from a number of different circles. Worlds of Magic also expands on the idea of the planes, allowing players to explore and conquer seven different planes of existence. We are also pursuing community input to help the game and make the game better and better. We have an active forums, where we are constantly receiving feedback and suggestions on how to improve Worlds of Magic. For instance, someone made the suggestion that a normal unit should very rarely spawn a randomly generated hero that could then be hired and moved into your hero pool. The dev team discussed it with the community, decided it was an interesting idea, and it became part of the game, all because someone took the time to share an idea with us. We plan to continue taking input throughout the development process. We're actually setting up a backers-only section of our forums where backers are going to be able to talk directly with the development team. We're asking for community support, both with ideas and backing. There's a load of artwork that needs to be produced for Worlds of Magic. That's where a majority of this funding is going to go. The more we raise with this Kickstarter, the more we can add to the game and the faster we can make it happen. We would also appreciate it if you spread the word about what we're doing, and please take the time to keep up with the project. As we progress, we're going to make more and more updates. In closing, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and especially thank those of you who made the decision to back Worlds of Magic.